Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I thought it would be a good idea to make a quick video about the Site Manager. Site Manager is an area of 90 Second Website Builder that allows you to manage the file structure of your website. That may sound complicated, but it's really not. And so let's take a look at the Site Manager. When you first open up a 90 Second Website Builder project, you're given, of course, an untitled project. This would be the name of my project. And you're giving, given, of course, a default page. Now that first page is always going to be called index, and it needs to be called index, because every home page needs to be called index in order for web browsers to default to your home page. So you're never going to want to change the name of this file. This is always going to be your home page to start with. However, every page you make after that can be called whatever you want it to be called and uh, will affect your navigation and your links, of course. So you want, want to think that through sometimes. But let's talk a little bit about creating pages and structuring them. These little icons up here allow us to quickly manage the site manager. We're also going to be able to right click on things, but we'll start with using these buttons first. Obviously, adding a new page just requires me to click this button. And when I do, you can see that I've added a second page. I have my index, and then I have what 90 Second calls page one. I can rename this, though. It doesn't have to be called page one. I can call this uh, Greg's page. Not a great name, but you get the idea. Now, you'll notice over in the tab portion of 90 Second Website Builder, I now have two pages to work with. Here's the index page, the default page, and the page I just created. But let's go back to the site manager and let me show you. You'll notice that this page that was created fell under the hierarchy of the index page. This is called a child page. The index would be the parent and Greg's page would be the child page. Now, we'll talk about why you would want to do that in just a few minutes. But you don't have to have all these pages nested like this. I can also create another page. Let's create one here. Uh, underneath uh, this, click New Page, and you'll see I've created another page. Let's rename this. In fact, let's call this one uh, Page 3. Now I've got three pages on my website. Index, and then under the index, Greg's page, the child of index, and then another parent page, if you will, called page three. So why do we need child and parent pages? Well, it's just ma mainly for the way you might want to organize your website and the way you might want to create navigation. So I'm going to leave this as an example because in a few minutes I'm going to show you how the navigation is affected by this structure. But let me show you one more thing that you can do with the site manager that you may not know. There's a little icon here that allows you to insert an external file. Now, what's an external file? An external file might be an HTML or a PHP page that you have created or you have acquired somehow from another source. See, 90 Second Website Builder will allow you to insert an, a conventional HTML file into your website. It won't let you edit it because it needs to work with its own files, but it will allow you to include it in your website. Let me show you what I mean. So when I click this button, I, I have a sample website here called Thank You. So I'm going to click Open, and you'll see that my Thank You page now appears within my site structure. Now again, 90 Second will not allow me to edit this page, but when I go to publish, it will include this page in my website. So if you have some template page that you got someplace else, as long as it's already edited and looks the way it's supposed to look, you can include it in your 90 Second Website Builder project. Now you'll notice it fell right under the Greg page, which makes it a child of the child, sort of a grandchild, I guess. I don't have to keep it there. I can move it to its own level simply by dragging it up to here and you'll see that it falls in line. So these are the main pages here, and here's a child page. So I can I could delete this file, or I can um, insert a new one, but I can't edit. I can't change the name of it either, by the way. Even though we can rename these, once you bring in an external uh, HTML page, you pretty much have to live with it, but you can move it in this structure. Okay, so that's a feature a lot of people didn't know was possible. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, why we would want to have a parent-child page. Well, the reason is because of navigation. 
So I'm going to go get a navigation tool over here called the navigation bar. I'm going to drag it over here on this end of the screen so you can see it in the camera better. Here's a navigation bar. And uh, as you know, if you double click on this, we can set some of the properties to uh, whatever we want. I'm going to make it horizontal so we can see a little bit better. But here's what I want you to see. Inside the navigation bar properties, you'll notice there's a little checkbox. Synchronize with Site Manager. Hmm. Notice that right now the default names for my navigation are just these buttons. But as soon as I say synchronize with the site manager, watch what happens to my navigation bar. You'll see that it picks up, and it went horizontal because I told it to, it picks up the name of my main pages. The index, the page three, and the thank you page have now been picked up within the navigation bar. So that's why you want to think through what you're going to call your pages. In fact, if I double click on this, you can see that the navigation bar properties has been updated. Now, I can't edit or change this because it's going to be synchronized with my site manager. If I wanted to edit the way these look, I would need to unsynchronize it and then go back and edit what I call these. So that's why the site manager allows you to create uh, parent child pages and, and work with navigation. Now, you'll notice that the Greg's page, the child page, doesn't appear in here. The reason why is because it's a child page. So let's, uh, let's look at this again using a different tool called the menu bar. This is the navigation bar, but now I'm adding the menu bar. The menu bar allows me to work with the hierarchy of my site structure. Here's what I mean. I'm going to double click, and again, it has the feature of synchronizing with the site manager, so it's going to pick up the names of my pages automatically. I'm going to make this be a horizontal layout. And watch what happens. When I click OK, I now have, again, here are my three main pages. But because the menu bar allows for hierarchy, I'm going to show you what happens if we were to publish this page. I just clicked F5. Watch what happens when I hover over the index page. There's my sub page, my child page under index the menu bar automatically knew where to put that because of the site structure in the site manager. Let's close this preview and look at that again. As you can see, this is the main page, here's the sub page that came up, and then the other main pages. So that's just kind of a brief overview of how to use a site manager with navigation and all the things you can do. So again, these icons are obvious. One creates a new page. This allows you to add a page using a template, if you might be using a template from the 90-second uh, library of templates. This allows you to insert the external file like we did with the thankyou.html. This allows you, this feature allows you to just edit the page. It's just another way to get to edit the page. Of course, you can always just come out of your arm of the canvas and click the tab just as well. And then, of course, this allows you to delete, delete the item that you've created. This brings up the page's properties. So, for example, if I'm selecting this page and I hit properties, it'll bring up a dialog that tells me about the page, its size, and all of the other things that I might want to um, associate with that particular page. Just kind of shortcuts. That's a, again, that's an overview of the site manager and uh, the use of parent child pages. One more thing. Remember, we had a grandchild page. We can also do that. You can go pretty much an unlimited depth, I believe. Uh, I don't know how far anybody's gone, but if I was to insert another page right here, and we'll call this, uh, just for the sake of argument, another page, you'll see that it's buried within the hierarchy. But now if I use my menu bar, and I synchronize, click OK, again, it's only picking up the main pages, the parent pages. I'm going to preview by clicking F5 so we can see what that menu bar would look like. You'll see that I get uh -huh, my hierarchy. When I hover over the index, I get the first child page. When I hover over the child page, I get the other child page under that one, the grandchild page. So just a quick and easy way to manage your site and your navigation using the Site Manager and 90 Second Website Builder.